Hello, I'm Sik Solo. Welcome to my channel. Maybe you're wondering what is going on. He's uploading and releasing a video on a Thursday. Well, I've been tagged. So this is a tag video. It's the manly... It's the manly mash-up shave. I was tagged by Rusty from the Rusty Razor to take five soaps, either a leftover or something left in a bowl or just five soaps that I like or maybe five soaps with uh, some soaps in it that I just cannot get to work on its own. So take five soaps, smash them up uh, together, leave them for a couple of days and then try to use them. And I did that. Uh, I took five soaps, uh, but I don't have uh, just a little left yet. Uh, these soaps have, uh, have not been used that much yet. But the first one I took, took was the uh, CAD, the cat, from PAA. I love the scent of that. I took uh, the Tabac cream. I took the Parasso. Wooden Spice cream. I took the Executive Man from Sterling. And I took the Sandalwood Shaving Cream from Taylor of Old Bond Street. And if you remember my five soaps artisan tag video, those were my favorite, uh, favorite soaps in the categories I had to pick from. So I just took my favorite soaps um, and then I, well, this is the, the manly mashup shave. So I thought, well, how do I uh, man this up? Uh, well, some of the soaps are very dark and manly, I would say. Manly, I would say. But I also picked a race I haven't used before. It's the enormous, the very heavy Maggot MR8. And if you're a dart player, this is 181 grams. 181 grams. It's enormous <laughs> and I think I'll get a workout because just holding it like this I can feel. Well, maybe I'm in for trouble. In it, I have a seven o'clock uh, black, the one called Super Platinum. And in my, in my animal cup, I have the heaviest brush I have. It's 160 grams and it is a one of a kind made by Rich Hansen um, from uh, Rich Man Shaving, Rich Man Shaving, and it's 160 grams. And it's the one called, sorry, it's dripping everywhere. It's called Milky Way. And actually, I got to name this before I bought it. Okay, so I smashed up six soaps. Um, I have them here in this ball, oh, sorry, container, and I already put them in my the, the heaviest of all of my balls. The Giles Shaving Co. Uh, stoneware or ceramic, I don't know what you call it. I think it's called stoneware, cup, mark, sorry. Okay, so let's get this, get this started. Okay, I have in this, oh, did I, I don't know, remember if I told you, it's 160 grams, this rich man shaving brush. And this is a new, oh, <coughs> that's very, oh my God. It's almost too much. I hope it isn't dangerous. I haven't tried it. I don't know if this will make some kind of dangerous, fume or anything. I have no idea. But this is my heaviest brush. It's 160 grams and I have a lot of foam. A lot of bubbles. A lot of air. This is going to take some work I think because I mixed the cat from PAA that's vegan and I mixed put in it some tallow based, uh, for instance, the sterling. And I don't know how they react together. I don't know if this is even possible. 
let's see. I have something happening here. Oh yeah, it's, I have the tapak in the background and I have a strong, strong, strong wooden scent right at front. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So while I do this, I have three people to tag because those are the rules. This is tag season, so we are tagging each other here and there. First one I would like to tag is Gary from Mr. G Shave. Gary, you're tagged. The second one I would like to tag is Justin from Red Island Shaver. Justin, you're tagged. And the third person I would like to tag is Jim Will Shave. Jim, Jim, you're tagged. So those are my three tags. Okay, I'm not sure how this is going to be. But I have a ladder now. I'm not sure. If I shoot, hmm. let's see how this goes. Okay, the mister is here, the manly mister. Oh yeah. And today is the captain's, well he's, he's not off, he's working. So there will be no, no captain today. Let's try this, let's see. I have the soap here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a splendid, splendid, splendid soap. It's maybe it's even too thick. I don't know. I get a strong, strong, strong wooden scent. A uh, colony mid tone. And then the tabac on top of it in the background. See? See? That's not bad. Not for me. Listen. Haven't used that razor before. I don't know what to expect. I don't know. I believe uh, the head is called the version, the latest version. I don't know if that's version 3 or version 4 on the magnet. But it's, it's a workout, actually. That's how heavy it is. 181 grams. Okay. Let's see if this is even possible. I don't know what to expect. Maybe I'll get a rash for the mixture of something. Okay, so I have the maggot 180 grams MR8. Okay, let's give it a shot. It's, it's like you almost have to hold. It's so heavy. All I have to do is steer and it's almost like you have to be a little careful to hold it a little back almost. Oh, I forgot. My mustache area. I was so busy doing well, I was so busy describing the scent of this and I forgot the mustache area let's see if I can fix that it's very creamy this soap. I will of course make a link at the bottom underneath in the description to Rusty's tag. Video and of course I will put a link to Mr. G. Shave Gary's channel 
and Rusty's Red Island Shaver channel. And of course, Jim Will Shave's channel, Jim. So they're great guys, and I know they of this. Oh yeah, and Gary, congratulations on passing 400 subs the other day. Speaking of passing subs, this Saturday, I will be announcing my 400, I wish, my 200 giveaway. My 200 sub giveaway. So follow this channel on Saturday to see what will be given away and how to enter. Okay, I think I'll I think I'll need to add a little water with this. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah. So did I just make up a new wonder soap? At least the leather is thick. Did I break it? <laughs> Most likely. You know? I think I have a tendency to push a little too much when I lather, even though I try not to. And I'm really focusing on not doing it, doing it. So. So, second pass. The maggot, 180, 181 grams. 181 grams MR MR8 I believe the head is called version 4 so. 3 bits 3 videos in a week It's a lot for me. I have a lot of work. This is about the busiest time. We just got a new government in Greenland. The election was a month ago. So and I work within the government. So I work in the educational agency. Of Greenland. So. So it's busy times. So we get new assignments, new politics assigned. But also, we're already busy with reforms, revisions and stuff. God, the educational area is developing. Oh, is that a thought? Oh yeah, it is. So, but this is a race that you don't want to push. You need to be very, very careful. Okay. This is by far the heaviest racer I have. 
and I don't know if I mentioned it, but the handle is stainless steel and the head is uh, some kind of, I don't know, zinc alloy that's chromed or ceramic, I don't know. It looks very, um, I would say, somewhere between uh, the E89 and the Mule uh, 89, somewhere along those lines. Well, maybe mostly like the D89. I don't know. And I don't know where it's made, where it's produced or anything. Okay, so let's feel this. I need to go back under the nose. But this being so heavy, I'm really careful. I have to be, because I always cut myself here. That's better. Let's see. Yeah, that's great. Let's see here, down here. I have some stubble here, so I need a, a half third pass. And I don't think I will be needing more water to add to my face. Plenty of slickness left. I feel a little burning sensation down here. I don't know if there will be a bill to pay. Most likely there will. So when you use the maggot M uh, MR8, be careful because this is a beast. This is so heavy. You could so easily overshave. And you don't want to you don't want to push it. You don't want to overshave. It's funny in my mind, I've done so many comparison shaves that every time I, I get to here, I am about to put it down to pick up the other one. But this is the only one razor shave, so there's nothing to pick up. But that's what I have been doing for so many shaves. So. And I love that. I love trying out different stuff. So even closer to my 50th birthday. I don't know how I feel about it. Well, I think, well, I'm okay. I don't know my family in Scandinavia. They talk about having a big party, but I don't feel like that. So tell me, maybe in the comments, how would you, first of all, what five cents would you mix in a manly smash up what five cents and secondly uh, how would you celebrate or how did you celebrate your round birthday for uh, 30 40 50 60 whatever how would you do it and was it like you planned or did someone else plan it for you okay let's feel this we're done here and The caption is working because this is not the weekend and the weather here is great. I tell you, we have sun, so I will just be doing this all by myself. Ah, yeah, very hot towel. Oh, yeah. So, tune in on Saturday to see the 200 sub giveaway, see the shape and see how to enter the giveaway. I'm telling you, I have some good stuff. There will be two prizes for two winners and they will be shipped here from Greenland to wherever you are in the world. But more about that on Saturday. So you have a little redness here. So maybe, I, well, I had a, I had a little uh, razor bumps 
from the from the shape on Tuesday uh, with the supply razor. It's a little a little hard on I don't know maybe my skin just needs to uh, adapt to the different blades and stuff maybe well maybe it's just one of those things I don't know okay so that was great today I'm doing the Purasso this is one of the manliest scents I have I have the yellow wooden spice that I use a lot that's very uh, deep dark wood and then I have this um, the Azure Lion Azure Lion and this is also a wooden scent of some sort of a cotton shade. Okay, so that's about it. There will be no judgment today. Only, I will of course tell you how this shape was. So far it was great. You need to be careful. Oh, this is uh, a woody, but not a dark woody. It's, uh, it's kind of a, it has some, Oh yeah, that's the lime, of course. I was just about to say you have some citrus of some sort in it. But that's of course because it's called Azure and Lime. Oh, and that's just right up this season, right? It's, it's, we're starting the summer here, <laughs> very shortly. Very short summer. I tell you, it's actually extremely short right here. Okay, so what I used today was five soaps mashed together and left for three or four days, right? The tops, sandalwood, the sterling, uh, ex executive man, the Purasso yellow, wooden spice, the tabac original, and the PAA CAD. And as this is a tag video, the manly smash up uh, shave, uh, I tagged three people. Uh, Gary from Mr. G Shave, Justin from uh, Red Island Shaver, and uh, uh, Jim will shave Jim. So you three are tagged. And let's feel this before I move on. Oh, I need to apply some cream. I need to apply some cream. And of course, the man the shave. I need to use the Nivea Blue Men. I don't know if there is a woman. Maybe Kim if you're watching, or Baldy Locks if you're watching, Lucy. Is there a Nivea woman? I have no idea. My wife doesn't use the Nivea cream. She uses some expensive Christian Dior stuff. And I cannot object with all this <laughs> green and soaps and razors. So. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. If she likes that. It's about Kim, if you're watching, or Lucy, if you're watching, or anyone else, if you know, is there a manly version of this? I don't know. But remember to like, remember to subscribe, remember to hit the bell, and make, uh, remember to share. And we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six solo out. Looking forward to the tag videos from you three guys. Thank you. And thank you, Rusty, for taking me in the first place. This was fun. And the scent I have left for two more shaves. Maybe we'll use them in a shave to come. Have a great day.